Hello, in this video we're going to find the derivative of this function. So we have y equals cx divided by 1 plus cx. So we have a quotient. So because if we have a quotient, we are going to apply something called the quotient rule from calculus. The quotient rule says if you have a function f divided by a function g, and you take the derivative, the result is the following. So think of f as your top function and g as your bottom function. It's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. It's all over the bottom one squared. So in this case we have, well let me just do it over here, not directly there. So we have y equals, or y prime equals, so our top function is cx, and c is a constant, so when we take the derivative of cx, we just get c, because the derivative of x is 1, and so the c kind of just hangs out. So it's just like c times 1, which is c. So the derivative of cx is c, times the bottom, so 1 plus cx, minus the top, so cx, times the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of 1 is 0, the derivative of cx is c all over the bottom one squared, so 1 plus cx, and all of that is squared. Okay, let's keep going. So y prime is equal to, let's see, c times 1 is going to be c, c times cx is plus c squared x, minus, and then c times c is c squared x. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> they go away. <laughs> 1 plus cx quantity squared. So these cancel, and so we're left with y prime equals c over 1 plus cx, and this whole thing here is squared. And that would be the derivative of y. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.